the Samsung QTU really is the underdog. underdog. In the podcast microphone world. Nobody really talks about it, but it is a really, really good microphone. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of using the Q2U and whether we think it's a good choice for podcasters. So first things first, let's talk about all the benefits of using the Q2U for your podcast. And there are quite a few of them. The first one being you can use it as a USB microphone, plug it straight into your computer and start recording, or you can use it as an XLR microphone and incorporate it into a larger podcast setup with mixers and interfaces and all that kind of stuff. So whether you're just starting out or you're trying to grow and scale an existing podcast setup, this microphone is gonna work wonderfully for you. The second big benefit is that it comes with everything that you need right in the box. You gotta be kidding me. It comes with the microphone, it comes with the stand, it comes with the USB cable and a pop filter to really minimize those plosives as you're recording. So you'll just wanna pop that sucker on there when you're recording to you get the best audio quality possible. And then the third big benefit of the QTU is you get really great audio quality, especially when you compare it side by side to microphones like the Shure SM7B, Pure 40, Rode Procaster. Very often the Q2U will be just as good or better in terms of the perceived quality of your audio after you've recorded it. And you don't spend several hundred dollars on the microphone. Awesome. <laughs> so that's another big plus. So if you're just getting started with your podcast, you're looking for something simple that's gonna sound great without breaking the bank, the Q2U has a lot of things to be desired. So there's a lot of things going for the Q2U. What are the drawbacks? What are the cons? The reasons maybe you wouldn't consider a Q2U? Well, the first one is that because of the way it's designed, you wanna get it pretty close to your mouth to get some great audio quality. And so you're gonna wanna look at upgrading the stand that comes in the box with something like a boom arm, like this Rode PSA-1 boom arm. That will allow you to position the microphone wherever you want it to be and get great audio quality. Otherwise, you're kind of hunched over, you're talking, but you know you don't wanna sit here for an hour just to get good audio quality. You wanna be able to have good posture, be able to converse with your guest, and not have to worry about that. So that's where a boom arm comes in really nicely. The second thing to be aware of is that while it does have USB capability, you can't really plug two Q2Us into a computer and record them at the same time. Computers aren't very good at distinguishing one microphone from another, especially if they're the same microphone. So you're gonna need to upgrade to an XLR setup with an interface like the 2i2 from Focusrite or a mixer or something like the Rodecaster Pro in order to capture all those audio inputs. So if you're looking to do a multi-person podcast, just know that you're gonna need to get more than just a couple of microphones, there's some other gear that you'll need to get. Now that is something you're gonna run into regardless of the kind of microphone that you use, that USB computer snafu issue. But we did do a video previously on the channel about how to record multiple people. So you'll wanna make sure to click the link uh, below this video in the description to be able to check that out after you're done here. So what's the final verdict? We think the Q2U is awesome in just about every way that matters. It sounds great, it's affordable, and it comes with most of the things you need right out of the box so you can get podcasting. You don't have to worry about becoming an audio engineer in order to take full advantage of all the feature set. I heartily agree with you, sir. That's, yeah, that's it. That's it, that's the whole video. Just go buy a Q2U, it's wonderful. Now, if you wanna see how it stacks up with the ATR2100X, which is a very similar style of microphone, but a little bit more expensive, then you can check out the video that Albin did comparing these two microphones by clicking the link in the description or jumping into this video right here that just popped up on the screen. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video. And as always, keep podcasting.